So for those of you that watched my video last week, you'll know that I was in my van and had some problems with the electrics and had no power and it's been going on for some time. Um, well today, I am getting that fixed. I'm here in the southwest of Scotland. It's a beautiful area around Dumfries and Galloway and it's just such a nice spot, albeit the weather's a bit rubbish. And I have met up with YouTuber and full-time van liver, van lifer, van dweller, CJ. He has a YouTube channel called Project Amber and he recently announced on his YouTube channel that he was going freelance to help people like me and for people who build their vans, help build their vans, fix their vans, complete their vans, whatever. Um, so with all the problems I've had with my van and that I'm having with my van, I thought, oh, this is perfect. So I watch his channel, I know he's a good guy. So I reached out to him and said, CJ, please can you help me with the power and soul issues that I'm having with my van? Um, and he said, yes. Uh, so a few weeks later, we have agreed to meet up at this beautiful spot just outside of Dumfries, um, Dumfries and Galloway in the southwest of Scotland. And we're gonna do some work in my van. There he is there. Um, we're going to hopefully get the solar panel up and get everything working, I hope. And then I'm going to continue on a one week road trip around Scotland. So it's going to be awesome. Today's the first day of that road trip and hopefully we're going to get some power and we can crack on as normal from then. So yeah, I guess the next thing we're going to do is fix my van. So I am very, very, very happy to tell you that we're there, we have power and it's all working and I am a happy, happy man. So we can now continue with this photography adventure road trip across Scotland at the time of year when Scotland is at its very best, which is autumn. I think now we can relax, have some food, have a beer, safe in the knowledge that my battery should in theory never go flat again. Although it is Scotland and it does rain a lot. We'll see. All right. Well, good morning everybody. And I don't know, I suppose you join me a, a couple of days later. Um, my van is working, full power. So very, very happy there. Massive thanks to um, Project Amber. And his channel is definitely worth going and checking out if you're into van stuff and general travel content. This morning is beautiful. <laughs> 
it's phenomenal, but it's also incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Basically, I was in the southwest of Scotland with Project Amber sorting out my van. And whilst it was nice down there, I really wanted to come further north, but it was too far of a drive to get from southwest Scotland up to the far northwest, which, which is where I want to end up ultimately. So I decided to stop halfway. So I uh, decided to come to the Trossachs National Park, which is where I am now. And I'm close by to a beautiful lock called Loch Ard. But the problem is, sorry guys, sort of tripod problems. The, uh, the problem is, I've never been here before. I arrived in the dark and I woke up in the dark. So, absolutely clueless of where to go and what to shoot. But luckily, after having a bit of a walk through the mist, I've stumbled upon this beautiful, beautiful, there it is, <laughs> beautiful little tree, which I am about to shoot. So I said it was a bit of a frustrating one, obviously. Um, to, it, when you do landscape photography, there's different levels of difficulty and frustration. Um, one is when you get bad, great compositions and bad conditions, that's quite frustrating. But it's really frustrating when, you're, when you have beautiful conditions, but you, you just can't find anything to shoot because you just do not know the area. And that's exactly what happened to me this morning. As I said, I arrived in the dark, woke up in the dark, wandered down this footpath in the dark. <laughs> and I could see the light, the ambient light, slowly starting to increase and the mist was lingering all around me. And I'm, I'm getting a sweat on, you know, I'm, I'm walking hard, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I'm getting really frustrated because I can't see anything, but I know there are compositions here, but I just don't know where they are. Um, and then I did my usual thing of just take a minute and just stop, stop looking, just just walk. Um, so I did that and I was walking down the footpath which is about 100 metres out of this woodland and in the corner of my eye a, a silver flash caught my attention and it was this, I think it's a larch tree and it's so bright and vibrant with its beautiful autumnal yellow colours and it's surrounded by fairly uniform, relatively dull trees that haven't turned yet, with splashes of colour in the, you know, on the ground surrounding it. And there we go, there's my first image of the day. My tripod is <laughs> way up there on a, on a mound, a very, very unstable mound. And that is because the lower down I am, the more of the sky that gets introduced into my composition, which I don't want. I want zero sky. I just want that beautiful tree standing out. And that seems to be a bit of a theme in today's video. Um, yeah, is the old yellow tree against a dark background. But at this time of year, that's what I look for. I've still not to find, I've still yet to find the perfect tree, but we'll get there, I'm sure. And this is a good one. So uh, I'm not gonna spend too, too much time on this now. I'm gonna get this photograph done because there's more that I really want to explore. So I am at f5.6. That will give me a lovely, lovely sharp tree focused on the tree. And it'll just soften the background. And then obviously all of the mist that's lingering around is softening everything as well, naturally. Um, no filters. Um, and that's it. There's nothing really more to say than that, um, compositionally and technically. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's it's about I don't know. It's about seeing a composition. I, don't know, I think I'm talking about, I'm talking rubbish now. I'm just gonna take the goddamn photograph. All right, I'm gonna take this photograph and move on because the mist is starting to thin out a little bit now. Um, but there's still no wind, so I'm gonna head down to the lock and see if I can find another image or two before breakfast. So yeah, beautiful shot, 5.6, two second timer. And there we go, 
not a bad photograph at all. But let's go and see if we can find something else. So, one of the uh, one of the problems, and I can't believe I'm saying this, one of the problems with mist, because I know I've been complaining about it for the past two videos and how I've been chasing these elusive conditions, but one of the problems with good conditions like this is that everything looks good. So you walk around frantically trying to photograph everything, or at least you have that urge to photograph everything that you see, and it takes time to grab those images, setting up your tripod, choosing the right lens, maybe filters are necessary, and that kind of thing. And what happens is you end up sort of not wasting the morning, but the morning goes very quickly. Before you know it, the conditions change and it's back to business as usual, which is bland and dull and boring. So I found that this morning I'm fighting my urges to want to try and photograph and film everything. Um, and it's very, very difficult. So after fighting urges not to try and photograph everything, I decided to hold out until I found something that really, really caught my attention. Something that really fitted what I like to photograph. And that's what we have here. My, I, I, you know, I don't really have a style and I photograph all kinds of landscapes from intimate, sort of almost macro you could say, to the big vista and, you know, vibrant sunsets to dull, wet woodlands. You know, I photograph it all, and I love photographing it all, but what I really, really like more than anything is a scene that instills a sense of peace and tranquility into whoever's looking at it. I like sim simple images with lots of negative space, just one or two subjects, and just not a lot going on, not too busy. And that is exactly what we have here. We've got beautiful, beautiful colours all around this lock. It's fantastic, it's so vibrant. And the waters are perfectly still, with a lovely bit of mist lingering and hanging in the air. And I was looking at the trees across the other side of the lock, thinking I would love to just get a nice shot of that colour with the mist, but it was missing something. It was missing that tiny bit of interest that would sit at the bottom of the image, where otherwise there would be open water. And we have these beautiful reeds, these grasses just coming out of the water, just protruding. And they're fairly sparse, they're not all grouped together, so in my frame I probably have maybe six reeds poking up. And that just fills the blank space at the bottom of the image perfectly. And just adds to that sense of calm. And straight away I, I saw the reeds, I saw the, the view, so I started walking along the, the bank of the lock. Trying to um, find a composition that balanced well. And this is the one that I've settled on. So I did a lot of moving around with my tripod, dropping it, shifting it left and right. And that's to make sure that those grasses are perfectly placed within the composition to give that sense of calm and balance. It's a bit like feng shui, feng shui. <laughs> you know, they feel like they have to be so, so perfect because if the grasses, if your camera's too low, then the grasses start to protrude into the reflection of the island and then that creates a sense of busyness 
and almost chaos. You want the grass to be filling the lovely, perfectly white space below the reflection. When you find a scene that's delicate like this, it really, really, really pays to just think small movements. You know, take the camera off the tripod, walk around with it, and just really think about every single element within your composition. So, this is a lovely, lovely composition. Nice and simple, clean, straightforward. Just... Absolutely magic. So I'm really happy with how this morning went. I'm in the van now, it's lovely and warm. Everything's working, so a massive thank you once again to Project Amber for sorting me out. And the road trip can continue. Uh, yeah, it's cold outside, very cold. I think when I was out this morning, it was about three degrees. Um, but yeah, back in the van, and I had a look at my images on the laptop, and I'm very, very happy with them. So yeah, a productive morning considering you know, arriving, well, arriving in the dark and waking up in the dark and having never been here before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an, well, I'm probably going to have a coffee and then I'm going to have a nap and I'm going to end the video here. But I am going to stick around in this area. I've got all day today to explore and get a feel for the area. And then hopefully the calm, settled conditions will continue through till this evening and I can have a nice, productive sort of late afternoon sunset photo shoot um, but that will be next week's video um, so yeah colors colors are peaking and everything in Scotland is looking beautiful so I'm so excited for the coming days so please do stick with me but for now and for this video I want to say thank you so much for watching and until next time oh aha wait I wanted to say something before I forget my calendar um, now normally I would sell my calendar all the way up until Christmas, but I go to Nepal in November on I think the 16th of November I go to Nepal So I am gonna pull my calendar out of stock and it will be available no longer um, And that's gonna happen on the 14th of November So if you haven't bought a calendar, they're only gonna be available up until November the 14th and then they will be gone forever and that's because I'm away for a month and I don't want to start taking orders and then not being able to ship them and then them not in arriving in time for Christmas and all that sort of stuff so I have a few left in stock not too many but if you do want one uh, you probably have a couple of weeks so yeah all right <laughs> thanks thanks for that and uh, until next time bye for now <laughs> <laughs>